Hello? Um, so, okay. Dark Tide. I, um, liked this game, but I eventually got tired of it. In the same way, I liked Vermintide, but I got tired of it. I don't like the way the difficulty works, where I feel like, um, it just, because your power increases, eventually it gets to a point where you feel like you need to push up difficulty to enjoy it more, but um, like you just hit a point, I personally hit a point where I didn't want to go with it anymore. So I stopped playing it because they weren't really adding anything and the game crashed a lot, it just felt like shit. So I go back recently to look at it, games like overwhelmingly negative on steam people are pissed off like i think all that's happened is a map the game was obviously early access whatever right same thing that always happens right same thing people are going back to vermintide which i think had for me had the same problem not for these people and it's sort of funny because um i think the the developer doesn't care they got their money and it may have hurt their brand, but not really. Like, this isn't as big of an issue as the payday crate thing where a lot of people just quit outright and I think still haven't come back because of the vaults or whatever they were. The safes, that's it. So the thing with um, Dark Tide and Vermintide that I think is funny is players, it seems like the a lot of the players just end up iterating their way through shit, looking for these minor increases in power, which is, I think, the common thing for a lot of these looter shooters. I've remembered it from um, Outriders, where the thing itself wasn't really fun, and people just wanted more and more shit, right? We would collect shit, look at it, and be like, I've got the god rolls, now my character's perfect. Well, who cares if it's not fun, right? And that's how I feel like with Dark Tide, where I feel like I wouldn't go as far to say the players are at fault, because obviously they're not. The company is at fault for being greedy and not listening to people. But I do think there's something in here with the enthusiasm which players engage in obsessive behaviors with. And I noticed it with Outriders, because I remember in the Outriders, free demo beta thing there was one one not this would be two one mob you could farm in he might drop a legendary I, even i did this you would just go and you would run it if he dropped the legendary great you got your thing if he didn't drop it you'd let the other guys kill you and you would just run this over and over and over again and people did it for hours hours like eight hours a day doing this to get a shitty legendary that didn't matter and I think the same thing happened with Dark Tide, where they knew, they know the players will eat shit. They know you'll eat shit with a grin on your face. So they, they give it to you. And it's bad. It's not good. It's not good to give a Philadelphia Eagles fan horse shit. It's, you're doing harm to him, even if he'll eat it. Don't do it, right? that's the same thing so i don't want to act like i'm defending the company i'm not they fucking suck it's very cool that everyone changed their reviews to negative but what would have been even cooler is if people didn't buy the fucking game and if people didn't fall for it if people were a little more suspicious and a little more judgmental and um that's really all i got to say the whole point of this video is because i want to put out Dark Tide, more like Dark Pattern somewhere because that's how it works. It's a very, you know, it's a very obsessive game and it's fun, but it encourages you to play obsessively because you've got to put in the time for your fucking dailies and you've got to keep checking the story. You've got to check this and check that and re-roll and do all this shit. It's horrible. And Outriders does it. All these games do it. And uh, I'm glad I, I returned this on Steam and played it on Game Pass. I'm glad I did. And I wish uh, other people gave them the opportunity to do, themselves the opportunity to do it. I only managed to because I had it in the early access beta period. I was over the four hours, and it's very easy to do with these games. But um, 
you know, next time this stuff comes out, uh, wait. You know, don't buy it. And that's all I can say. Just don't stop buying this shit. That's your best defense. You know, don't buy the fucking DLCs when they come, for sure. But that's it. I mean, this uh, is the second take, so it's a little more coherent than the other one, trust me. Uh, so you're welcome uh, for me re-recording this for you. Like and subscribe, baby. And stop buying this uh, shit.